not until Friday. There is no surprise. You're lying, Annie, I can tell. Your nose always runs when you tell a lie. Oh, that is ridiculous. <laughs> See? Mother, what's the matter? Don't you like surprises? Oh, I love surprises. That's why I had my hair done. <laughs> Look at that. These kids should be more careful. Oh, say, you know, when they turn on the lights and jump out, believe me, I will be surprised. <laughs> oh, a surprise party, huh? You shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> surprise! Oh, gotcha. Surprise! <laughs> oh, we fooled you this time. Oh, no, you did not fool me. I knew all about it. No, you didn't, or you would have had time to have your hair done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you look great. It makes you look very young. <laughs> I can live with that. <laughs> oh, Mom, Sam wanted to be here. I'm sorry he couldn't be, but he sends a kiss. Oh, well, good, but did he send a present? Oh, of course. Okay. <laughs> Talking about presents, Catherine, you probably noticed I came in without one, but that doesn't mean that I don't have one. I do. It's out in my truck. I'm going to go out and get it now. And, Catherine, I really think you're going to like it. Oh, goody, goody, goody. <laughs> Keep everybody away from the door, okay? Well, come on. What are we waiting for? Let's open my presents. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Before you open the presents, everybody say goodnight to Annie. Goodnight, good sweetheart. Good night. Oh, she's good night. sleepy. Yeah, come on. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Max, where's Julie? Don't ask. It's kind of a sore point. She's visiting a girlfriend in Chicago. Oh. Yeah, she was supposed to be back a couple days ago, but um, she called and said that she was going to stay a couple more days. Why? Well, we don't know. Max doesn't want to talk about it. Huh? Come on, it's your birthday. Open up. Okay. I'll get what I got. Oh, boy, my favorite <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> Special delivery for Max Horvath. Uh, I'll take it for him. Who's it from? Julie. Max, you got a letter from Julie. What are you talking about? Here, special delivery. Maybe she needs money. <laughs> or maybe it's something cute for me because she missed my birthday. Oh, my God. What is it? Is, is she all right? She's done it. Done what? She's left me. Left you? Can't you hear? I said she's left me. Your sister walked out on me and her child. Damn it. She promised she wouldn't do anything, Max, without first talking to you. What? You knew about this? I knew she was thinking ab about it. Yeah, we had a six-hour talk before you she You knew she was going to leave and you didn't say anything? You just let her walk? But Max, I begged her to talk it all out with you. Well, thanks a lot. But then walking out on your husband runs in this family, doesn't it? Here, you want to laugh? Hey, uh, oh, Max. Max. Oh, she didn't just walk. Max! Uh, I think I'll take him a piece of cake and some milk. I think it's going to take more than cake and milk, Mom. Well, she says she's staying with a friend and she's looking for a job. But, but doesn't she want her baby? Oh, Mom, it's really hard to understand. I'm, I'm not even sure I do. But this is her baby. She knows that, for God's sake, Mom. She just doesn't think that she'd make a good enough mother for Annie. She kept talking about how erratic her life has been, how irresponsible, how she ran away with a boy when she was 16, how she refused to go to college because she wanted to become a dress designer, and then she dropped that to go to work in a free clinic, how she walked down the aisle with Fred, and then she married Max. Oh, but even so. There are a lot of even so's and if only's, Mark. You know something, I really, uh... I really hate being her mouthpiece. I wish you were here to talk for herself. The only chance I or you or Annie have is if I can somehow take responsibility for my own life. Somewhere I have to make sense in this world. I need to find that somewhere. Maybe I never will. My little girl is very precious to me, but she can count on you. She'll never want for love and warmth and guidance. Max, you know how I feel. We've been over and over it. I need time. I'm very, very frightened. I love you both, Julie. Damn her. Oh, my poor Julie. Catherine Romano? Yes? Happy birthday! Oh, I came to take you dancing with my top hat on my head. Your birthday's here another year. We're glad that you ain't dead. Oh, dear Catherine, we'll dance until morn. Say, ain't it great to celebrate the day? 
that you were born <laughs> without a show. <laughs> hey, that was great, Al. Yeah, thanks a lot, Al. I owe you one, kid. <laughs> Man plays a sweet potato, too. <laughs> so, Captain, uh, happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah. thank you. Oh, jeez, look at this. <laughs> I guess I really overdid it. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is the worst thing that's ever happened. <laughs> oh, we only had a couple of weeks to rehearse. I mean. Schneider, it was very, very sweet, really, but we've just had some terrible news. What? Uh, Julie has left Max and Annie. What? Well, who's going to take care of Annie? Max. But she's a baby. She needs a mother. <laughs> I'll go check in on no, her. No, 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 no. I'll get her. No, Hold it. I'll take care of Annie. She's a Horvath, not a Romano. Not anymore. I still can't believe this. Oh, come on, Barb. It's not that big a surprise. They've been fighting ever since I've known them, and it's gotten worse since Annie was born. But leaving her baby. Yes. Mom, she's leaving her baby. <sighs> For years now, I have accused Julie of being irrational and headstrong and selfish, but this is so enormous that I'm going to butt out, and I really think you should butt out too, Mom, because Julie is going through more pain than either one of us can ever understand. For God's sake, Mom, she left her baby. Yes, I know that. And while all of you sit around and judge her, do you mind if I worry about Julie? She's my baby. Well, I spoke to him. I told him, you know, that he's not the first guy this has ever happened to. I told him, you know, that there's light down at the end of the tunnel. I told him no matter what, we all love him. And what did he say? He sounded like go to lunch. <laughs> Wayne? Schneider. <sighs> I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. Would, would you like some coffee? No, thanks. I'm fine. Max, how about uh, we get out of here and leave you alone, huh? I'm fine, okay? It's happened. <sighs> Julie's made up her mind. <clears throat> I'll just have to accept it. Come on, Grandma. It's your birthday. Let's have some cake. Oh, good. Here. Here's my plate. <laughs> Would you rather she had taken Annie with her? She wanted to. You know she's been struggling with this for months. I don't care, okay? And I don't need any of your explanations. Julie's gone. I am now the mother and the father, and I will take care of her. Okay. And we're going to help all we can. That's right. And I'll be here any time you need me. I think maybe I can get you a guest ticket to the father and daughter night over at the lodge. It's a tough <laughs> ticket. Look, I love you all. And I know you love Annie, but we're not going to be here. What? Annie and I are going to go to Texas and be with my family. What are you doing up? Mom said I can't have a midnight snack. It's not even midnight. It's 10.43. Well, let's have a 10.43 snack. Quietly, though. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shh. I'll share my Yoplait custard if you share your Yoplait dippers. Deal. Deal. Mm. Mm. The family favorite, Yoplait. They are powerful drugs that kill more people than car accidents. I was hooked instantly. I can't believe I was arrested. I did anything to get high. More teens are finding that high right in their parents' medicine cabinet. Prescription drug abuse is drug abuse. Please protect your family. For help, visit the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids at drugfree.org. You said you wanted to feel better about your cereal. General Mills Big G Cereals hear you. That's why we say yes to whole grain as our first ingredient. And no way to high fructose corn syrup. 
in every Honey Nut O, every Lucky Charm Spoonful, and every Cinnamon Toast Crunch Square. You can feel good about General Mills Big G Cereals. If you're looking for the ultimate entertainment experience, you're ready. Ready to bring your TV and internet together like never before. You're ready for Xfinity X1. Call 1-800-307-1010 to get Xfinity TV, internet, and voice today for only $33.33 each a month for 12 months when you bundle all three. With Xfinity X1, you'll find the last nine shows and channels you've watched with the touch of a button. Plus, Xfinity delivers America's fastest internet according to speedtest.net, so you always have the speed you need to do even more. Call 1-800-307-1010. And get started with Xfinity TV, Internet, and Voice today for only $33.33 each a month for 12 months when you bundle all three. Or ask how to upgrade to get a $200 prepaid card. It's all backed by our 30-day money-back guarantee. So it's risk-free. See for yourself why 85% of people prefer Xfinity X1 to their current TV experience. Call 1-800-307-1010 today. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Game night is our daughter Allie's favorite night. And knowing that her favorite General Mills Big G cereals are gluten-free, like Honey Nut Cheerios, Rice Chex, and Lucky Charms, she can enjoy it her way. Try new Very Berry Cheerios, the taste of real fruit in every bite. So very good. Now, folks, come on now. When tragedy strikes. I mean, uh, it's the way life is, you know? I mean, you gotta deal with, with, with whatever you've been given. I mean, uh, whether it's happiness or, or sorrow, it's all part of life's plan. I mean, it's like a great big test. You have to have the strength to see it through. Somebody do something! <laughs> Andy, talk to Julie again. Say what? Give her some more of my inspired parental wisdom. It's done so well up until now. Somehow I don't think we have to worry too much about Julie. She'll survive. Our little Annie is going to be raised by a single parent. Well, a man who used to have a beard. Oh, crap. <laughs> she's right. No, no, she's right. A single father cannot, cannot raise a daughter. It, it doesn't work, and it's not good for the, for the daughter. I mean... All right, we all heard of Tarzan raising boy, but did anybody here ever hear of Tarzan raising girl? And why? Because it's a jungle out there. <laughs> Schneider, lots of men are raising their children nowadays. Do you think that you could raise a little girl all by yourself? I've done it with Barbara. <laughs> okay, all right. I wouldn't want to, but if I had to, I think I could. Dallas Cowgirls. <laughs> what? <laughs> Our little Annie could grow up to be a Dallas Cowgirl. <laughs> oh, we can't let that baby out of this family. It's not our decision. I'm gonna go home. I wanna be with Sam. Tell Max I love him, I love Annie. This whole thing is really just killing me, too. I could wait until Max is asleep. And then I'll get the baby and I'll keep her. <laughs> Isn't life strange? I mean, the minute everything seems to be going great, something goes wrong. Uh, here you go. What's that? To check for our half of the rent. Oh, come on, Max. We don't care about the rent. Barbara, tell, tell him we don't care about that. We don't care about the rent. Mm, just take the check. No, okay. no, forget Max. the check. Max, 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 Max. Wait, 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 wait. Come here, come here, come here. Sit down. Talk to us. Come on. Would you, uh, uh, would you like a glass of wine? No, I don't want any wine. Well, how about a pretzel? Please. <laughs> Max, please don't shut us out. Please. We're a family here. Uh, I made a list out of some of our stuff here. Um, I know we bought the television together, but you can keep our half of it. Uh, I'll take the vacuum cleaner. You can keep our half of the food. No, 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 no. I've seen your half of the food. <laughs> I hate giving up my job with the travel agency. Then don't. 
I can't stay here. You belong here, Max. Annie belongs here. We love you both very much. Please think about Annie. Oh, really? No, I'm sorry, but she's losing her home and her mother the same day. That's wrong. I'm sorry, Barbara. I've made up my mind. You can change it. <laughs> Come on, you've got a great job here with a great future. What are you waving at? <laughs> the man's had enough grief today. You don't have to add to it. Fine. Okay. Okay. Come on, Fine. No, please, I won't you say guys. Another word. I'm not... No, go ahead. You talk to him. All right, I will. Tell him I think it's dumb. <laughs> Max. Tell him it's going to cost a lot of money to move. What I'm trying to say. Tell him. Tell him there's rattlesnakes down there. <laughs> Well, tell him if he stays, he's never going to have to hire another babysitter. I know. I know that. I just can't stay here. Max, I think you're wrong. You, you think you know it. I'm... Look, I'm going to go up and check on Annie, okay? Honey, you talk to him? Okay. Don't screw it up. <laughs> Oh, come on, Max. I'm a good listener. Come on, you, you can say whatever you want to. You can yell, scream, cry. I'm used to it. I'm a dentist. <laughs> we love living with you in this house. It, it's, it's fun. It's, it, it's warm. I mean, who am I trying to get? I, I never had a brother. I have to say that. I appreciate it. I feel the same way. I love Julie. Of course you do, Max. You have no idea how sweet she can be sometimes. And then there's other times I, I get you. I can't figure her out. You know, one night she came to bed with a pad and pencil. She wanted to fight by note so he wouldn't wake you two guys up. <laughs> then she ate the last piece of paper so I wouldn't get the last word in. Well, that's Julie. What one time I was in the tub, uh, she accidentally came into the bathroom. She covered my eyes so I wouldn't be embarrassed. <laughs> I remember. She came back laughing. <laughs> I just gotta get away from here, that's all. It's too painful to be here. Everything reminds me of her. I want Annie to forget her mother. Oh, Max, you don't mean Yeah, that. I do, I do mean it. Mark, what do you want me to tell you? You want me to tell her that her mother's a saint because she deserted us? Huh? She walked out on us. It's a totally selfish move. And if we stay here, Annie's just gonna keep hearing about it and hearing about it and hearing about it and all of a sudden she'll be grown up and she'll think it was her fault. And Texas will have new roots. And she'll forget about the ones that were torn up here. Well, I don't want Annie to forget me. I, I love her. I don't even know if I can take care of her. I think that a child should be raised by two parents. I don't want to grow up and feel half loved, half cared about. Oh, God. I'm scared. I'm scared. Got a little baby without a mother. Excuse me. Oh. I'm sorry, but um, I was hungry for an ice cube. <laughs> Want one? <laughs> I'm sorry, Max. I just I I wanted to say one more thing. You need our help. And, and we want to give it to you. I mean, that's what we're here for, to help each other. Max, I love you, and I don't want you to go. Thanks. I love you guys, too. There's just too much of Julie here. I 
хочу без. I, uh, I just, I just wanted to make sure that the baby was all tucked in. <laughs> Good night. about you. It's not going to be the same without your mother, though. One thing you've got to know is that her problems are her own. You have nothing to do with them. Oh, Annie. I love you so much. You're just lying there peacefully because you think I have all the answers, don't you? I don't. I don't know what to do. One thing I do know, though, and I was very wrong about, is that I don't want you to forget your mother. She loves you very much. I'm going to make sure you always know that. I'm so confused. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I wish I had the right answer. Please, somebody help me. I don't know if taking you away is right or not. I don't know if I'm taking you away because of you or because of me. Maybe it's better if we stay here. I don't know. I don't know. Come in. Hi. I'm sorry to, um, but... We have some problems. See, Mom called, and Sam is on his way over. He wants to beat some sense into your head. And then Mark has this crazy idea that we should go to Texas with you. And Grandma's downstairs threatening a hunger strike if you go. <laughs> and Schneider removed the distributor cap from the car. Well, thanks for telling me all that. Yeah, I thought you should know. Cause... Yeah, well, now I know. OK. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have to stay. If we leave, these people would never survive. <laughs> teeth just were not healthy. Foods started hurting my teeth. Like steak, going on the cob. I would never consider dentures. I had my consultation with Clear Choice. This is something I had to do for me. At Clear Choice.